Hello and welcome to All Is Outdoors. This week we are going to do an unboxing from Carl's Bait and Tackle. This was an order that I uh, actually placed a couple months ago by the time you see this video. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, let's see if this is something and some items that you might want to buy. Pretty full box. Some of these are some baits that I actually got in another unboxing, but I tried to go for it again. First one here is uh, Thunderhawk. Some craws. Uh, we don't say what kind they are or anything, but they're actually a, it's a it looks like a green pumpkin color. Uh, so no size or anything. Got two of those and I actually picked up, this was a different color. This is like a, uh, I don't know, blue, uh, light green color. But again, cross from Thunderhawk. Uh, let's see here, we got some of these soft plastic. Uh, Semantis Baits, here we go. And again, there's nothing on here where they are, but this is a little creature bait. Uh, looks like a green pumpkin red flake is the color. Uh, next thing here is Bio, Bioa uh, Armored Craw, 4 inch. There you go. And um, looks like Cola. Cola is the color. It's uh, six pieces in this one. 4 inch, six piece of... Uh, Craw, armored craw. Uh, next thing we've got is um, Salt Native by Catch Co. It's a swim bait, 3.5 inch, six pack, and it is in the Rusty Penny. This is three and a half inch, six pack, Rusty Penny color. So, swim bait. Cup, picked up a couple Yoda worms. Um, this is a 3.5 inch. Thought these would be a good trailer to use on a spinner bait. Uh, green pumpkin pearl is the color. Seven pack. Something to do a little ned with, netting with. Uh, this is Sakoshi bug. This is a 2.5 inch. And this is in green pumpkin. All right, I think that does all the soft baits. Um, we do have, this is Aaron's Baits 4-inch uh, Wag Spinner Bait and Pumpkin Spice. So we got a little paddle tail on a spinner. When we do the review, you'll see that when I get it out of the packet. Here. Um, a Castaic uh, Dying Jerk. A jerk bait. Um, this is 4.75 inches and a half ounce. And who knows? Is a blue something? There's no color. A blue back gold. The dying jerk. Um, BD baits. Crank bait. Big square bill. Um, dies three to six feet, uh, three quarters of an ounce, 4.5 inches long. And it's a green mountain shad, I think is what they've got there for the color. Crankbait from BD. There's another BD Baits. This is a uh, 0.3 ounces, dives two to four feet. And the color on this is Sexy Shed. A little crankbait. Next one is an Excite Bait, dives two to five feet, three eighths of an ounce. XB1. 
Uh, blushing Shad is the color. Another crankbait, uh, Castaic uh, C0C08. It's 2.5 inches long, half an ounce, dives uh, six to eight feet. Castaic crankbait. And the color is a uh, Ghost Sexy. Ghost Sexy. Uh, next one we've got is a banger, Sriracha Craw Color. It is dives two to five feet, two and a quarter inches long, and three eighths of an ounce. Banger, Sriracha Craw. Uh, sticking with the banger, here's another banger. This one is in Cash Craw Color. And this one dies two to five feet, two and a quarter inches long and three eighths of an ounce. They had some of these on sale, uh, the craw colors, red craw colors. That's when I picked those ones up. Um, this is an Abyss AB9. It's in blue silver color. And that looks like about it. Doesn't say how deep it dives. Or does it say on there? 14 to 16 feet on the bottom of that, it says. There you go. Abyss. Abyss. Um, we've got a Grande Banger. It is in Ghost Gill color. It dives three to seven feet. It's three inches long and three quarters of an ounce. Grande Banger. Oh, we've got a Head Banger. Top Water. Um, let's see. This thing is 4.5 inches long. Three-fifths of an ounce. Um, in the silver color. Head Banger. Top Water. Oh, we've got a clown color here. Dynamic. So, um, let's see, three inches long, five sixteenths of an ounce, dives one to four feet. This is dynamic lures. A little crankbait. We have got a big boy. Carl's Big Boy uh, dies three to five feet, 2.75 inches long, half ounce in the ghost gill color. The Carl's Big Boy. Another Carl's Bait, the Carl's Wedge. Dives two to four feet. It's 2.75 inches, half ounce, and a fire craw color. The wedge. We got another lucky, we got a lucky John crankbait. It is uh, four inches long, dives three to 12 feet, and 0.35 of an ounce. And I don't see a color. It says art, but I don't think that's the color. It looks like a clown color almost. Ah, got one of these and one of the other things that we've done. This is a major craft crankbait. It, it's uh, two and a quarter inches long, seven sixteenth of an ounce. Uh, dies 3.5 to 6.5 feet, and it's the red craw color. Oh, I bought, picked this one up. This is the tightrope jig uh, from Catch Co. 
It's a quarter ounce. And I think bluegill color. And a number two hook on that little jig. Tight rope. And the last thing in the box is a Livingston Lures um, Shredder 53. Little crank bell or crank bait. I'm gonna say it's probably 53 millimeters long. Let's see here. Yep, 53, 2.09 inches and 4.4 ounces. Medium diver. And the color is chartreuse splatter shad. This has got the sound technology, I believe, doesn't it? Yeah, EBS technology, um, electric, electronic bait fish. And uh, there's an apps. This thing here is a thing you can scan, and it's an app, and it'll track your lure. Um, more places are starting. Monster Bass has these now the Livingston lures and I got to read up because I got some one came in the box actually so um there's a Livingston lure crankbait a little smaller one but a medium diver and that's all we got in the box uh, okay let's uh requet cap this real quick there's a lot more here than I thought and once I started unboxing these or taking them out of the package uh let's go with the Biowa Armor Craw four inch it is what that looks like. Got a couple hook slots on both sides of it. Feels pretty durable plastic. If we look at the Samantis baits, a couple little appendages that comes apart. So nice little creature bait. Um, what is this? This would probably be, what, watermelon, black flake. We've got the two Thunderhawks. We've got the green pumpkin. And then we've got the more clear, the smoke. It's got a little blue. So we got those two craws. We've got the... Uh, uh, salt native swim bait in the rusty penny color. It's kind of got a weird tail there. Do a lot of kicking, probably. That looks pretty nice. We got the Yoda worm, green pumpkin pearl. Nice. Uh, we got the uh, Sakoshi bug. For netting, that's in green pumpkin. This is like a elastic type material, so a little more stretchy. Not elastic, but it's like that, so it's a stretchy. But figure a good uh, drop shot. Uh, I think that takes care of the plastics, except for this Aaron's bait, which is a spinner. So we got a little spinner. Kind of discoloring already. And there's a little paddle tail. Nice little hook. Interesting. All right, let's see where we're going to start here. Let's start with the BD baits. This is uh, one of the BD crank baits. Sexy shag color. Put that over there. Here's the bigger BD square bill. Four inches long, and that's in the Green Mountain shad color. Pretty good shake. Okay, we got the big boy. And the ghost gill color.
We got the Castaic. Dive six to eight feet. And the Ghost Sexy color. Castaic crankbait. We got the um, Carl's Amazing Baits Wedge. Little crankbait. That is in Firecraw color. We got the Excites Bait crankbait. A little square bell, nice looking. That's in Blushing Shad color. We got the Grande Banger and the Ghost Gill color, Guggen Squad. We got the regular Banger and Shracha Craw color. We got another banger. And this one's in cash craw color. We got a major craft crankbait. Dies 3.5 to 6.5 feet. And that one is in the red craw. Color. We got the Livingston Lures with the sound technology. Shredder. And this is a chartreuse splattered shad color. We've got the Lucky John crankbait. And I believe it's going to be a clown color. We've got the Dying Jerk Castaic. And that's in the, that doesn't say. Castaic Dying Jerk. We got the Headbanger, the Silver. Top water. Saw these on Facebook all over. I don't know if it'll work like that, but we'll see. We've got the Abyss crankbait. And this is the blue, blue silver color. Got a little red front treble like Monster Bass does. Dives 14 to 16 feet. This crankbait. We got the dynamic lures crankbait. This is in a clown color. And then the only other thing we got, which I didn't take out of the package, is the tightrope jig. One quarter ounce. This has took a little longer. There's a lot more here than I thought. Um, tell me what you thought, you know. Give me a comment. Let me know if you liked it or didn't like it. Um, tell me tell me if you did. Subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. I love doing these unboxings, but they're about time to come to an end because I got to get out and go fishing. This stuff here was just all sell stuff. Really um, didn't really need much of it. I, I wanted the tightrope jig and I wanted these little guys. Um, and uh, I thought these would be a good trailer as well um either for um chatterbait or spinnerbait even a jig um everything else was really on sale so i picked it up uh, to see what it was take a look at it um i'll list the prices or you probably already saw them because this is a recap uh, i list the price that i got them for there was discounts on there every time you go to carl's you can get ten dollars off your order if you get a certain dollar amount you get free shipping not hard to do that um so i used to try to do that and then i try to get the ten dollars off this was actually two different orders it wasn't all in one um 
the first box there um, had a majority of this, but I broke it up so that I got ten dollars on each one. So uh, um, you can find some good deals there. Um, they're not as good as they they were for a little bit there uh, a couple months ago, um, but. Uh, Take a look. Let me know what you would use. What one you thought was pretty good. Uh, you know, these living tin, these sound technologies. If you've used one of these, let me know. Um, I've got a, a few of them now that I've got to activate and uh, see how they work. Get out there on the water and that's what it's going to start coming to because we got to get out of the water. It's getting warm enough. And uh, by the time you see this, I hope that I'm fishing and making fishing content to come out. So um, thank you for watching appreciate it. I know it was long. I actually had to turn the lights on because uh, it was getting a little dark in here. But uh, again, thanks for being coming along and uh, I'll see you next week on All Is Outdoors Now. Get yourself outdoors and enjoy yourself. Thank you.